I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis last, so it was, it's now, what is it, March of 2023. I was diagnosed yep. May of 2022, but I had the symptoms for a good half year before that. What were your symptoms like, you know, before you joined the program and you were, you know, looking at the SHIELD program I and mean, what, what were you dealing with? Um, I was more on the constipation side of things, so I wouldn't go, be able to go for a couple of weeks sometimes. Um, like and two then weeks straight, you wouldn't have a bowel movement. Yeah. I mean, I didn't actually mark it on a calendar, but that's, that was on average, that right? 10 yeah. days, 14 days, maybe even a terrible yeah. time, 17 days. I, yeah, I can't remember. It just was very hard for me. I would get jealous of my husband being able to go. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> and so when I would go, I would pass like these rocks, you know, because I was so dried up inside by that point. And, but I also had urgency, which is weird. I know it along with that, but I felt like I needed to go often, especially after eating something or drinking. <clears throat> and so, but then I would just pass a little blood of mucus and a little bit of stool. You know, it was never... A satisfying DM. So, and what did your doctors say that they wanted to do about this? Well, originally, before we realized it was colitis, my doctor thought it was just constipation and hemorrhoids. And so we kind of went that route, but it just kept coming back. And then it came back worse with blood. And so then we did the colonoscopy and I was diagnosed with uh, colitis. But I had heard that if you go the traditional route, like I knew what that was like because I had actually already heard about that. From someone else and so i knew to stay away from that and so i went with a functional doctor and i did the gaps diet which is an elimination diet i did that for a long time you know i lost like 30 pounds just eliminating all this stuff and um i did all sorts of things i did the elemental diet like just straight shakes for a whole month i was doing putting myself on this stuff and it really didn't help me at all what are your symptoms now yeah so i'm better <laughs> okay i'm better how many bowel moves are you having a bowel movement every day yeah, I'm doing well. Um, I have a regular bowel movement every day. The blood and mucus is gone. I really wondered, would that ever be gone? And it didn't take that long into the program. So thank you, Dane. I think you've done a good job with the program and I would definitely recommend it to anybody that's watching this. When I started the program, I remember telling my coach that I was sleeping at least 10 hours a night, which is really a lot, plus a 30 minute nap every day. But then um, like, it was within a few weeks or a month later, I was I was already down to nine hours a night, you know? So I could like see it. I for sure was sleeping less. So that was good. Wow. And so, yeah, you had you could not get out of bed without, without 12 hours. This was happening for years, even prior to the UC becoming an extreme thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's so amazing. And I'm so happy to hear that, Melissa, because we don't know how everything's going to go. But for you to have these issues for four or five, so many years, and then see the energy get better, the constipation go away after diets weren't able to do it, uh, the blood and mucus, all that. And, and how important was it to have a coach? Oh, I liked my coach a lot. And yeah. Your the coach, coach was who? Armand. Yeah. Coach Armand's coach fantastic. Is, yeah. And he was, he really knew what he was talking about and he was very personable. Um, and I appreciated him a lot. He felt like a friend by the end of it. And he had had it before. And that's probably the biggest thing that like as far as a positive thing you've done with the program is you made the coaches people that have had it. And so they really understand because I was with a functional doctor for a long time before I came to you mm -hmm. and she just wasn't doing the right thing. I mean, I hate to say that, but she wasn't cutting it as well, far as. And it's not, it's not to harm any functional doctors out there, but our coaches have the disease themselves. They've eliminated and they work with hundreds of people with Crohn's and colitis, hundreds. So the repetitions, the amount we've seen, and also we only deal with Crohn's and colitis. So we have case studies everywhere. What worked, what worked, what worked. So you're coming into a place where this is all we do. Well, definitely the health coach and also definitely the program you set up, the three tier thing, you know, everything about it, I think was just really well thought out. Thank I you. I think all of it together. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate that because I've been working on trying to make it good for eight years. Like what else yeah. do we need? How do we do this? How do we help this? So I, I love that you're saying that, Melissa. And and for everyone out there who's listening and going, okay, Melissa got these amazing results. What did she do? Can you highlight maybe something in the program that you think really helped with that constipation or that bleeding that any other woman out there who's listening saying, please lend me and the reason we say this, guys, is because she had her own personal plan that was critiqued, refined for months. 
It's yeah. not like we just gave her something and it was perfect. It was it was a whole thing and that we continue to refine. But what were some highlights or something that you really think helped with that constipation that others could maybe take? Um, well, I mean, right away, what Armand put me on helped me go frequently, but it was still um, the rock stuff. It was weird. Yeah. And so what finally gave me a normal bowel movement without the blood of mucus was when we added in, I can't pinpoint exactly, but we started opening up the detox pathways, the bentonite clay and the Tedka, uh, and that was just like uh, magic. How much do you think your faith has helped you in this process of being sick for years with chronic fatigue and not ensuring what's going to work, wanting natural medicine to work? and having a lot of uncertainty and trying natural medicine and not getting results and then finally getting some real results. How much do you think that played a part? Well, um, I don't know. I would just thank God for directing me because I, I was really at a loss. I didn't know what to do. And so I really can't take the credit myself, but I was asking God for what to do. And this is what he put in my lap. And I have to be honest, I was looking between this one and a different program at the time, and I was really torn. And I, I finally felt like this was just the one to try. And I said, okay, God, I feel like this is what you want. And um, even though I still felt a little unsure, and I am I can see now why he sent me this way, you know, it really did help me. I'm assuming people that are watching this are kind of anxious and looking for answers. And um, for one thing, for sure, just ask God for help and put your cares on him. Dana and I were talking about this earlier, and I even, I, I mean, I for sure am still stress ball, you know, what if it comes back? All the things. And so we still have to do that. But um, if you're thinking about the program, I would say I found some good results. So maybe you want to do it.